But when you get back pain, you get into like you're willing to try anything. And that includes marijuana. Tomorrow, life could change for thousands of New Yorkers who suffer from severe chronic pain. New York State's expansion of the medical marijuana program to include severe chronic pain takes effect at midnight. Good evening, I'm Brett Davis. And I'm Jennifer Mobilia. Doctors are calling the change in the law monumental. Lynette Adams spoke with a physician and a woman who suffers from chronic pain. She joins us now live with their reaction. Lynette. Well, Jennifer, the state health department says more than 14,600 New Yorkers are now benefiting from medical marijuana treatment. And after tomorrow, that number could increase by thousands and include Suolati. I just don't want to become one of those people. I really don't. That in itself changes your whole life, too. Those people, according to Sue Aladi of Pittsburgh, are people who need lots of prescription painkillers to get through everyday life. Aladi has been out of work since December. After 40 years of nursing, severe back pain sidelined her, making it nearly impossible to do her job. When you have back pain, you get into like you're willing to try anything. I was just telling her, if someone said to me, I'm going to put two long needles in your back, but it's going to take care of everything, I'd say get the needles ready. <laughs> Alati may be one of thousands of New Yorkers who could benefit from the expansion of medical marijuana to treat chronic pain. New York State made its use legal in September 2014, but marijuana has not been an option for people with back pain, neuropathy, Crohn's disease, arthritis, and a host of illnesses. It's definitely going to improve quality of life of thousands and thousands of people in New York State. Dr. Lynn Valinsky runs the Upstate Pain Clinic in Pittsburgh. He says dozens of his patients have waited anxiously to become eligible for medical marijuana treatment. He says this change in the law is monumental. Most of the patients with chronic pain have comorbidity as depression, anxiety, and all other kind of disorders which require treatment from psychiatrists. So chronic pain is a huge medical problem. This expansion will also allow physicians assistance to certify patients for medical marijuana treatment. To get started, Dr. Valinsky says all you have to do is go online and look for a certified practitioner or simply talk to your primary care physician. We're live at Ridge Road and Lake Avenue. Lynette Adams, News 10 NBC.